Hey everyone, welcome back to our replay of another episode of Chow Time with JP. Like usual, we'll be starting in a few moments here. So, as you saw by the title, it's going to be another hot food challenge. And we'll go over the details in a few moments here. Hopefully I had that lens clean, I think so. <laughs> I think you should be alright. Hello, everyone tuning in. Hey, hello. Hi. Those of you that do not know, this is my wife, Jill. She will be joining me tonight for this episode, and she handles heat much better than I do. <laughs> as she's proven that in the ramen, hot ramen noodle challenge. So for tonight's episode of Chow Time with JP, we have a hot chip challenge. We have four different brands of chips ranging from different intensities of heat. And we're going to see not only how hot are they, but to see how well we can handle them between us. So it should be a pretty interesting video, and I'm most likely going to be downing some milk to help battle the heat. So what we're dealing Hi, with... everybody. What we're dealing with tonight, we have Takis Nitro. These are supposed to be, I think, the hottest of the Taki brand. We have... Oh, by the way, Takis we bought at Wakeman's, but they're available at most stores. These are Zaps. Hi, Barbara. New Orleans Kettle Style Voodoo Heat. And these, I believe, were bought at Turkey Hill. Mm hmm Yeah. Along with this one, too. Takis. Yeah, Pocky. It's ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. And on the back, though, it has a heat scale. And it says it's freaking hot. <laughs> <laughs> And then Cheetos, Cheetos Flamin Flamin hot. hot, which would probably be the least hot of all of them, I'm guessing. Takis are hot. That's what I've been hearing. No, we didn't. You didn't miss much. We just started. Yeah, we just started. So we're going to not eat these in any particular order, but I, my guess is that the Cheetos will be the least hot and probably going to toss up between these two for the hottest. So what do you want to start with? Oh, I need water. But pick which one you want to start with. Uh, well, I would go with the, the least possible heat index. <laughs> go with the Cheetos. So just to do it fair, too, we're each going to have at least two chips so we get a full tasting of it. Oh, I don't know where that is there. <laughs> you can see it is as I crush my chips. This is the Cheetos Flaming Hot. So here we go. Tastes like a Cheeto. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of heat. So very mild. Actually, I have a couple more. They're pretty good. Sorry. Sorry about that. We lost you guys for a second. So, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but we did try the Cheetos Flaming Hot, and I think they're pretty good. There is a little bit of a, a little kick to it at the end, but nothing I can't handle. I don't need milk for this. Definitely not. So, I like them. I think anybody that has a Good tolerance of heat could handle those no problems. They're probably not even hot to her. Right? They're spicy. That hotter. <laughs> yeah, just a little kick to them. Your turn, you pick. Um, I guess we'll go with the Zappers Voodoo Heat. Not Zappers, Zaps Voodoo Heat. It says Voodoo Heat. Is the latest in our crazy, funky Zaps flavors. Why settle for an everyday flavor when Voodoo Heat can make your hair stand on end? Not for the faint of heart, but it'll put a spell on you. Enjoy and laissez les bon temps rouler. Whatever the heck that means. So, let's see if there are <laughs> catchy quotes here or uh, up to par. Hey, Lori. Nope, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it actually smells like vinegar. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just a regular ordinary chip. But it smells like vinegar right off the bat. There's nothing to that one. Oh. Looks like chips. They're good actually, but no heat. Mm. I mean, they're not bad. They're kettle cooked and. But the way it described is saying it's gonna make your hair stand it, and that's an under. That's a. I yeah. should say exaggeration. I, I don't think, taste any heat at all. I think the Cheetos are hotter than that. Yeah, it's almost like a like a mild salt and vinegar. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a vinegar flavor to it and smell, but the Cheetos are definitely hotter. Which one are those? Zaps Voodoo Heat. These were purchased at Turkey Hill. And Cheetos Flaming Hot. We got these at Walmart. What do you want to do next? Uh, ooh. Should we do a habanero or ghost pepper? Probably a habanero. Well, how about you want them to choose? Yeah. So you guys choose which one you want us to do next. Either Pocky or Taki. <laughs> Majority will win. Pocky or Taki. We'll try that next. Any comments at all? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Takis. Takis. Oh, so, yes. Takis for the win. <laughs> Takis takes, takes the lead. So, these are... Habanero. Habanero and lime. It says nitro. And on the bottom here... It says, very hot. And they, they do come in Fuego and Crunchy Fajita flavor as well. But we got Nitro, so as it go all in. They smell a little bit hotter. Mm. They smell hotter than those, at least. Yeah. yeah it's like a little round stick it's actually i think hollow but it has a mild smell but it does smell slightly hot out of my nose. i still got a little bit of burn from the cheetos though but all right you ready, you ready? Ugh, hard oh it tastes lime right away I just taste lime. You said these are the hottest ones. Oh, well, it's just very hot. I don't know what to tell you. Is the original Takis, are they pretty hot? Because we were told Nitro is hotter. I, I do feel a little bit of a burn in the end, but nothing bad, though. I mean, they're good. Really hard. You know what they remind me of? The Dorito ones. The ones that we have. Uh, I thought those were actually hotter. You think? Yeah. Mm. So, do you guys know, are the original Takis really hot? Or is there a certain brand of Takis that are hot? Because Nitro we got, and there's no heat at all. And on the bottom, it even says very hot. So, it's almost misleading. I mean, I'm not a huge person who loves lime. But, I mean, it's not bad, but you taste lime and a little bit of heat. But they're really, really hard, though. This is my first time ever trying them, so. You can hear the crunch. Maybe. Maybe we are. <laughs> well, let's try the ghost pepper then. And this supposed to be haunted ghost pepper. It says inside you may win a uh, fun chip challenge thing. And on the back, though, it says this is freaking hot, the hottest ones. So if these aren't hot, either they're just false advertising or the ramen noodles kind of warmed us up to everything else, I guess. I don't have your taste buds. But those, those smell a little stronger. Yeah. It looks like a Dorito. Yeah, it looks like a Dorito. Nothing special to it. 
I do smell some heat on it. So this one's going to be hot, I'm pretty sure. You ready? Yep. All right. Think we want that thing in here. Oh yeah. Not bad. We're gonna do the second one. Oh yeah, it's a it's an afterburn. <clears throat> yeah, that heat comes later on. Which is good. This is actually enjoyable. It's not like the ramen were you get to enjoy it for 10 seconds and all you taste is heat. Oh. Ooh. <coughs> now it's... <coughs> I need milk. Now it's really coming on. Wow. That took a good 30 seconds to feel that. <laughs> oh, my eyes are watering. That was like a uh, sneak attack. That took a good 30 seconds. I mean, I thought, oh, yeah, it's good. A little bit of spice. All of a sudden, my mouth is on fire now. It's spicy. I got to do these challenges alone because compared to her, it's like, <laughs> it's like candy to her. That is hot. Not nearly as hot as the ramen, obviously, but it's the hottest out of all of them. Yeah, I like those. That's good flavor. Just to be... Oh, yeah, it's still hot. Is it getting hot for you or is it okay? It's burning. Yeah. It's not that bad. I'm going to do two at once. This is my final ones because it's really on fire now. That is legitimately the hottest out of all of them. There's no comments. <clears throat> Something's wrong with the stream. Comments aren't coming through. Hmm. Well, can you pull up the stream on your video, on your phone? Oh, see if there's comments coming through. We can't see any comments. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I don't know if you can still hear us or see us or not, but comments are not coming through on our end. So I may have to refresh the stream. We're having... Oh, my nose is running. We're going to check and see what's going on here in a second. People are saying uh, hugs to you. We have lots of comments going through. They're still coming through actively? Yeah. Hang on here. Going under a mile. People said we can still hear you. Um... All right, guys, just um, if you could come and say we could hear you, we could see you because there's something wrong on, on our end. Okay, now we can see the comments again. Sorry about that. Yeah, while I was eating and drinking the milk, nothing was coming through, so I didn't know what happened. Eat two more of these stick together. See if it bothers you anymore. All right, yeah, sorry about that. We didn't get to see your comments. I'll have to walk the stream back and see what we missed. At but, the same time? Yeah. I can't even fit them in my mouth. Oh, thank God for milk. Ghost pepper chips. Uh, they were at Turkey Hill. We bought them. So, oh man, I gotta get some more milk. Hang on. I can't talk right now because my heat's coming right back on. She doesn't drink milk, so she's just a rebel. <laughs> she just powers through the heat. I need milk for really hot stuff. I can't handle it without it. Jean, can you get me another water, please? Yeah. Thank you. My nose is running. I gotta blow my nose. Excuse me if I blow my nose. <laughs> Hold the milk in your mouth when Glenda says. So how's it? It's hot. Yeah, you won't be able to handle them well. All of them? Some of them, maybe one or two of them. That's definitely not as hot as a 
ramen. No. I mean, it's hot, but. I'm curious to see how this is compared to the ghost pepper challenge. The uh, one chip challenge, I think it's like, a, I forget who makes it, but that one chip, it comes in a package. They do. Oh, is it them? Mm -hmm. I wonder how it's compared to that, though. I mean, I could handle this, but it's not enjoyable now. I'm just on fire now. Oh, thank you. One of my many Jason shirts. So I'll classify what my thoughts are, and then Joe could do hers, and then we'll answer any questions you guys have. For me, um, heat wise, I'm trying to remember here. I think these were the least hot. The Zaps Voodoo Heat, all I tasted was literally vinegar, like salt and vinegar. And they're good. They're kettle cooked, and it's a good flavor, but no heat at all. The Taki Nitro, I taste more lime than anything else. Slight bit of heat, but nothing that would stop me from eating them. They just, the lime is almost too strong for me, though. I don't like the lime, but I could, I could tolerate them. Then I go with the Cheetos, plenty hot. Which are enjoyable too. They taste like Cheetos with a little bit of a kick. And I can eat more and more and more of those and it doesn't keep getting hot. It's just you reach a certain point and you're good. These these were quite surprising. I had one first and the flavor was good. It tasted like cheddar and a little bit of a spice. I'm like, oh, it's okay. And then after 30 seconds, my tongue was numb. My mouth is burning, eyes watering, nose running. No, there's heat. It's just not as hot as um, For what? the ramen. Someone asked, um, if there was no heat, why do we keep drinking water? These are the hottest, though. I mean, that for me, this is the hottest one. And I could eat them. I could keep eating more. But it's just going to keep bringing the heat back. And it's the heat for me is yeah. too strong where I don't enjoy the flavor anymore. So the flavor was good for about 30 seconds. Then it got overpowering. And the flavor went away. And the heat took over. So... What do you think? Um, these were definitely hot. I mean, I'm still feeling it. From um, these definitely didn't have any heat. Um, I think Cheetos have a little bit more kick than Takis, which is kind of funny. So same thoughts yeah. as me then. Yeah. Yeah, Paki. I don't know if they're. I, I believe they're sold nationwide. I mean, definitely in Pennsylvania. I mean, you could probably look them up online, but they do make the one chip challenge here. It's, show you the picture on the back there I'm trying to get in focus here and you can i know you can order that online and they send it to you it's literally one chip wrapped up and i've seen people do it online and some people have some pretty bad reactions to it i don't know if i'll ever get to that point where i'll try that i don't want to torture myself but these though like i said after two three chips it's not enjoyable anymore it's just too much heat these are, are good. If you like salt and vinegar, you'll like these. I think Voodoo Heat is just a catchy name. There's no heat, though. Oh, these are... Um, Zaps are made in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Oh, the purple bag is hotter than the nitro? Yeah. That's what I thought, too. And we heard nitro is hotter. So we'll have to do a uh, another episode. We'll get the purple purple bag... And a few other hot items. But do you guys have any questions on any of the products we tried for you here? Or how do you think we handled them? <laughs> I think I did okay. Hello. Definitely have to go back and watch your comments, though, because we missed about probably a good five minutes worth. It tastes pretty good, the voodoo. Takis, I won't. The Taki Nitro, at least I won't be eating any more of those. I just don't like the lime flavor. It's too... Too overpowering. I'm not a fan of lime. The Cheetos hot was okay. You know what, though? I feel like <clears throat> these were kind of, they tasted stale to me. Like they're not like, I mean, I'm, they probably aren't, but I guess I'm used to like Doritos and um, see the other date. tortilla chips. Well, I mean, it's stamped 2019. I don't know when they expire. I, I noticed that though, like even when I had the Taco Bell chips, they weren't really like fresh like Doritos chips. They had a little bit of a hardness yeah. to them. Do you want to try any of them? Yeah. Which ones? Okay. You guys want Lily to try some while she's here? What I do you want to try? Try these, this, and that. 
<laughs> so all the non-hot right. ones. Yeah. So try. Wait, which try that one first. All right. Because then that one. So she tried the zaps first. Oh, tell them, what do you think? I don't like the flavor of it that much. I mean, it was okay. It's not heated or anything. She's not the biggest fan of it. She doesn't like salt and vinegar, but we like them. <laughs> you can hear you chewing. Stand over here by me. Let me put on whiting. Hang on. I like the Cheeto. Oh, here, you sit here. Are these bad? Try them. All right, so she had the Cheetos, and now she's trying the Takis. <laughs> Don't spit it up. <laughs> what, don't you like the flavor, or is it too hot? Flavor is fun. Flavor is bad. Christina's like, saying you're brave. She doesn't like lime either. This is this a bad one? Yeah. yeah. I just want to look at them. You can take a small bite if you want. I'm scared. I'm really no. Here, wipe your hand off. Don't touch your eyes or anything with your fingers. Barbara's not going to be trying them either. She saw that way you look. These are the best in my opinion. Cheetos? Did you try them yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I still have the... Ew, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> not many chips came in here though. It was kind of empty. Yeah. I mean, they taste pretty good. I like the kettle cooked ones, but... So I think these are the best. This is being the worst. Wait, what? What is this? The Cheetos. Cheetos are the best. These are the worst. The Takis. This is also bad. <laughs> and this is also bad. She only likes the Cheetos. All right, so she tried them. So I guess we'll have to get the purple bag of Takis for next time. We also did go to Eggman's. We bought uh, several items from the international foods area, mostly like some snack snack stuff like um, chocolates and I think some, what was it, maybe wafers or yeah. crackers or something like that yeah. or something. So we're going to be doing another episode um, probably over the weekend, I'd say, of that stuff. And then we'll have to get some more hot items to do with the original Takis. Someone asked, uh, what's your favorite chip that's not spicy? Favorite chip? Um, I guess it would probably just be regular plain Lay's as far as a potato chip goes. As far as like a Dorito type thing, I like Cool Ranch Doritos. Um, those are probably my top two favorite. I could eat them all the time. Yep, V, chocolate. <laughs> that's what he said, chocolate. <laughs> Try the one chip challenge. Mickey, you make a video of you trying it first, then I'll do it maybe. But I don't know. I, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of heat. I'm pushing myself to do this. So like, this is no, not something Carol. This is not something I would normally do. I'm doing it just to get out of my comfort zone. I'm really feeling the heat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't eat spicy food all the time. Pringles onion? Never had those, I don't think. I do like Pringles, though. Not, I don't eat them on a regular basis. I like bugles, too. I mean, I like a lot of stuff, but nothing I eat regularly, though. I uh, I mean chip wise, I don't. I guess I don't really eat that much much chips. I do like yeah, like chips dip though, like yeah, like ruffles. like ruffles. But I mean, I normally no, I don't eat them as much. You're a new subscriber. Well, thank you for subscribing and welcome. <clears throat> like I always say, maybe 
Like Harry said, yeah. though, if you guys have suggestions on things you'd like us to try, uh, you're welcome to leave your comments down below. We have been saying we're going to go to restaurants. We don't know which restaurants will allow us to film, though. That's the only thing. So it's going to be probably not a live stream for a restaurant food uh, episode. But nonetheless, we will try and do what we can. We're probably going to do some pizza for take home, too, to share with you guys. We have a lot of pizza places nearby. Somebody mentioned, too, they want to see eat Chinese. So at some point, we'll get Chinese takeout and share it with you guys. Um, nothing crazy like squid or octopus or anything like that. Mm. Just the stuff we like. And salsa. No, I like salsa. <clears throat> I like salsa sometimes. Um, oh, just to share with you guys, too, I didn't do a video of it, but I went to Long John Silver's today. They apparently have a new slider. It's a chicken sandwich slider. Um, it was disappointing. <laughs> the bun was like the size of an Oreo, and it's just a piece of like breaded chicken tender almost. It had a pickle on there. And some mayonnaise, and it was a buck ninety nine. I think it wasn't worth it. I think the uh, subway sliders are better. So, but Long John's is trying to get on the bandwagon with sliders, and theirs is a, a fail. So I didn't even bother making a video for that. Um, what else I have up coming up? Oh, I'm gonna be doing the McDonald's barbecue spicy chicken tenders coming up soon too. I think you're gonna try those with me. But, Which um, one? The barbecue tenders from McDonald's. Oh yeah, um, Jenny. I had Thai food before. I don't know if he would like Thai food, but I've had Thai I food. I won't eat Indian food, though, I'll tell you that. We have an Indian restaurant nearby. I want him to stuff foot in there. Everything, I think, is made with curry, and I can't read the menu, so I'm not even going to try to convince myself to go there. Chicken at Long John Silver's, maybe fish sliders. I know, they didn't have fish. They are only chicken. I do like Long John Silver's chicken, though. Um, but I tried it because I, I went there and got actually shrimp and chicken today which i do like but the slider was a fail i won't get it again oh they also have pierogies too it's um an option for one of your sides so i said okay give me fries and pierogies i get home open everything up and i'm thinking what the hell they forgot the pierogies well they gave me a little tiny dixie cup about this big no bigger than an inch in diameter i open it up there's three mini pierogies in there <laughs> so they come with that <laughs> as a side of pierogies i'm like you gotta be kidding me it's probably like 50 cents worth of pierogies and they count that as a side. <laughs> so Long John's is like a, you know, you love it or hate it kind of place. And, you know, I'd love to have it once in a while not on a regular basis, but that is just wanted to share that with you guys today. Popeye's. Yeah. We have a Popeye's in Scranton, but I think they're sold out nationwide out of their chicken sliders. They went, people went crazy. I never got to try it. Somebody mentioned too a donut um, chicken sandwich at KFC but my local KFC doesn't have them. Neither of them do. Um, I think it's out near Pittsburgh and other areas. So I did check into that. No donut chicken sandwich here. But um, I'll be on the lookout for new items though. But anyways, guys, I just want to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Chow Time with JP as we tasted and tested four different so-called spicy chips. Your mouth's still burning? Yeah, uh, just a little bit lingering. I could just taste it, but it's not burning anymore. But Pockies though. Again, we got these at Turkey Hill. I don't know how much she paid for them. Do you remember? Mm -mm. Probably a few bucks, I'm guessing. But um, those of you that have Turkey Hill, it's a gas station just like Sheets and Wawa, which they're probably available there too. But if you want to, you know, test your taste buds, I'd recommend getting those. Unless Jill eats these, I'll probably be dumping the rest of these out. Me and Lily don't like them. We'll finish these. We'll finish these. And we'll buy the purple bag of Takis for next time. So... Anyways, enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, again, questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down below after the stream. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where the hell's the ice tea package?